An EBI ID is a description. It's a coded description that is used within an EDI transaction set which uniquely identifies a sender and a receiver. Every trading partner doing EDI has an EDI ID. That ID is unique to that person so that when the EDI document is sent to a van, it allows for the routing of the document because all the routing tables for all the vans contain every ID. So when you're sending a purchase order to your van, to one of your trading partners, the van is reading that EDI ID for your trading partner and their routing tables tell them how to deliver it. Because if it's on one van, it'll send it to one place. If it's a different van, they know how to send it because the ID is registered to one location only. And the real premise is it has to be unique. You can't have an ID somebody else is using because when it gets delivered, it will be the first time it sees it. So if, if you're using somebody else's ID, depending on where it falls on the routing table, that's who's going to actually get it. So you know, the premise is you can use a phone number, Dun & Bradstreet number, anything that you know is really unique to your company that would not typically be used by somebody else. You can actually, because most people will use they said their phone number, corporate phone number, or you can use your Dun & Bradstreet, which is really limited to a company because nobody else has the same Dun & Bradstreet number but you. But there is a way you can create your own, and that falls under the qualifiers, where you ZZ qualify it, and that means it's a mutually defined number or code. So you can literally put anything together, any combination of numbers or letters, as long as it's unique. So it has to be confirmed that nobody else is using that same combination, but they'll understand that that's you, because they won't be able to look up as a phone number or a Dun & Bradshaw number, but that code belongs to you and identifies you as the sender or receiver.